So uh, for the next up, we have some top tips for tech videos and being kindly produced by Maddie and Rob at DigiBeat, who I've known for a long time, again, doing some amazing work and won another uh, award winner from uh, recent QIC awards. So uh, without further ado, have a listen to what they have to say and some top tips about technology uh, from DigiBeat. My name's Michelle McKenna. So my name's Mark. Um, my child was two years old when she was diagnosed. She was admitted with a DKA, so she was very poorly. Hello, my name's Jackie and my son Luke was diagnosed five years ago when he was age nine. He's now 14. Uh, I'm Sabrina Watson. My name's Jason Watson. My daughter was diagnosed at 20 months. And she's now nine and a half. My name's Sasha. Um, uh, my son Charlie is seven and he was diagnosed at the age of seven just uh, three, four weeks ago. After a year of diagnosis, um, we got the opportunity to have uh, use of um, monitors and an insulin pump. Um, insulin pump was fantastic. That, that really made a huge difference for us. It gave us flexibility. Um, it is also easier for helping to train family members and um, schools because it's less intrusive. She was, she was good with the injections. She was fine having the injections, but her levels have always been very up and down. Um, so we felt that the, the pump was more well suited for her and that has made a massive difference for her. With the uh, pens, it, because she's so small and she needed small amounts of insulin, um, the pens didn't do sm small increments, so we found it was either too much or too little and she was up and down all the time and it would make her mood, you know, different mood swings because obviously she's going too high, too low, so once we got the pump, they could do tiny increments and, and it we found, you know, like I say, almost immediately just, uh, her mood was much better. The, the first few weeks, I definitely found the nights the scariest thing and I was petrified to not check him overnight, even though they said it wasn't necessary. So I'd get myself up at two o'clock and check his blood. Um, and since we got a CGM, um, I can relax a bit more at night and, and I sleep through as long as there's no alarms. So getting that has been pretty amazing. You know, initially we used to wake up every two hours at night just to check her. And now we don't have to do that. We've got the level set, it alarms us, we wake up and we can deal with it alerts you to a low before you get there, so we've been able to kind of head a few off as well. So the CGM's been amazing. That has just changed our lives completely. It's given her so much more freedom. Um, she can go on play dates and I don't have to be there with her. She has the Libra, uh, which is now the Libra 2, so the alarms go off, um, although we don't always hear them when they go off because they're quite quiet, but um, yeah, so he has that. While our little one's playing, you can quickly give her a beep and you don't have to stop and do a finger prick, so that's been amazing for us. Yeah, it's a huge change. And she's on the pump as well, which is more accurate for her insulin and helping her level stay steady. You, you've got cannulas you have to put in every three days. Um, and she doesn't necessarily like that, <laughs> but it, it's in the long run, it, it's, it's better, much better we feel. Things like if he's out and about and he wants an ice cream, at the moment I say to him, you can have the ice cream, but I'll have to give you a jab. And he says, oh, well, I don't want the ice cream then. Whereas when we're on a pump, I know it'll be easier for him. She has a little bag, she puts the pump in, um, with tubing, she, because she's had it for such, such a young age, she, uh, She's not bothered with bags. She quite, you can get different styles of bags. She's got like a pepper pig bag and a unicorn bag. <laughs> she quite like it. And she's quite outgoing, so she shows her friends. Uh, we're looking into the pump, and I'm not sure how keen he is at the moment, but we're we're looking into that and talking about that to see if that's something that might work for him um, now and in the future. The tubing can get caught on things, and occasionally, as it's taken out of the cannula, and you have to replace it. It's only happened a handful of times, and we've had it for two years I think now. We 
we wouldn't go back to needles. We would um, highly recommend it's just given our family a bit more freedom and um, glucose monitors as well have been really great. Yeah, so technology is, I'm all for it, absolutely am I. It has changed everything for us. Did you beat? Excellent as ever. Uh, very helpful. Um, before going on to the next uh, speaker, uh, just a quick mention. I know there's been lots of comments about subtitles. I think just to uh, put it very uh, succinctly, subtitles are generally used to make it wider accessible. You know, it's for people with foreign language speakers, hard of hearing individuals, and there's anyone who can't watch a video with sound. So many reasons why there's there. So please do bear. It's uh, part and parcel of widening it up. And there's been lovely comments from people who have been hard of hearing and they're enjoying the conference. So, hey, as we said at the very beginning, all about a community trying to make those adjustments. So thank you for um, you know, bearing that in mind.